early morning baby wake-ups. Painful, right? Starting your day at 5 a.m., so much harder than 6 a.m. Hey there, everyone. I'm Dr. Sarah Mitchell. I'm a chiropractor by training, but found my passion in empowering parents just like you to teach their little ones to sleep and parent confidently day and night as a sleep consultant. And today we are talking about the causes of early morning wake-ups. When I'm talking about early mornings, I mean earlier than 6 a.m. Naturally, based on circadian rhythm, most kiddos four months and older, will get up somewhere between about 6 and 7 a.m. and be ready to sleep by 7.30 p.m., usually at the latest, okay? And this is based on the sun and their circadian rhythm. But I want you to know one thing. One important thing is that all of you will experience some early morning wake-ups at one time or another, and it's nothing that you've done, okay? The key to solving early morning wake-ups is understanding why they happen, which we're going to talk about, and figuring what that root cause is and how you can address that. So of the five causes of early morning wake-ups, the first one is, I'm a little bit overtired as a, as a little person. So this means that your child woke up too many times in the night, they stayed awake too long before bed, they didn't nap enough the day before, and this could be like an acute experience, they missed the nap the day before, or this could be like a six-month-old who still wakes up three, four times a night to feed or to be rocked back to sleep, will often continue to wake up early because they're overtired. The sleep cycles in the early morning are not very deep. They're shallow and fast. You may notice this, that your child might be in and out of sleep even between 5 and 6 a.m. That's not uncommon as well. But the painful part is when they wake up at like 4.45, 5, 5.15, and you have to try and help them to get back to sleep. So why does it happen? The number one cause is overtiredness. So one simple thing that a lot of parents can do is work on when's your bedtime? Is your child getting enough sleep? And I'm going to put the comments in the comments, our sleep summary by age, so you can grab that, so you can know what time your child should be heading to bed roughly at night. So overtiredness, number one cause. Second cause is teething. Okay, so teething causes inflammation in the night. Inflammation causes swelling, and swelling presses on those pain receptors and causes discomfort. So your child surfaces at 5 a.m., they feel discomfort in their teeth, and that prevents them from relaxing back down into the next sleep cycle. They cannot connect into the next sleep cycle. You also may notice with teething, short naps because of that same reason. Teething is tricky because the pain actually occurs before the tooth cuts through the gum. Isn't that a bad design? It's a bad design. It hurts before the teeth cut through, meaning that once you can see the tooth, the pain is probably receded. The thing about teething though is one tooth comes through, they usually come in in pairs. So there's another one coming. So teething can ebb and flow, be on and off for days to weeks sometimes. The third reason for early morning wake-ups is motor leaps. So when your child is busy learning how to roll both ways or pulling up to standing or walking before they have mastery, they may wake up at 5 a.m. and then start thinking about that cool new motor skill that they've been working on. Sometimes motor leaps often manifest too as awake but content in the middle of the night for 45 minutes to an hour. That happens too, okay? Compare this to your acute bouts of insomnia. You wake up at 5 a.m., you start thinking about something stressful or exciting in your life, that can prevent you from going back to sleep. It's the same for our little people, right? That emotional cognitive system churning and being busy in the background can prevent them from relaxing into sleep. That's what a sleep regression is. Growth and distraction. Your child's growing physically by getting teeth or neurologically by understanding concepts or motor skills, and that will prevent them and distract them from falling back into sleep. The fourth reason is environmental. So it's too hot, too cold, too bright, too noisy, or I'm too wet in my diaper. Something environmental distracts me from relaxing back down to the next sleep cycle. In the summer, we may notice that as the sun starts to come out earlier, your child starts to wake up earlier. So one great thing that you can do is block out the sun. I'm currently using the sleep out curtain, which I'm totally in love with. I'll put the link down below. You, it uses suction cups, very thick material that also blocks out the heat and a Velcro and it's transportable. So you can take it with you when you travel. You can use my code helping baby sleep 10 to get 10% off. Love that. Love that sleep out curtain. Okay. I use it for myself actually as well. So too bright. Too noisy could be the birds now are waking your little one up earlier. So can you use some white noise to block out household noise? Okay. What else could be going on? I've had parents who've noticed that it's when the furnace kicks in in the winter that their child wakes up and stays awake. So paying attention to that. I've also had really sensitive kids that were listening to white noise and they noticed that when the white noise looped, there was a little glitch and that actually woke their child up. 
So think about that too. And also in the winter, as your household temperature tends to be the coldest around 5 a.m., does your child have enough layers on? So winter sleep sacks or sleep sacks with wool can be really helpful to prevent that. Okay, so environmental, cause number four. Cause number five of early morning wake-ups is that one of those things precipitated the early morning wake up and now it's a habit. Now your body, your child's body is used to waking up at that time of day. So what can you do about these things? Well, it's really challenging when you're still responsible for making your little person sleep, right? If you have to go back in and rock them or reinsert the pacifier or feed them back to sleep, where it gets challenging is by 5 a.m. They're becoming more alert. Their body's actually getting ready to kind of get them up for the day and seeing you can be stimulating. So nursing to sleep might be working great sometimes. And then for some reason now at 5 a.m. It doesn't because they see you and they want to play with you. Right? That can be hard. That's why we love independent sleepers, especially over here in Helping Baby Sleep School. We teach you how to help your little one fall asleep independently at night so that they can do it again on their own at 5 a.m. Yes, we can work on minimizing distractions, all those environmental things, the overtiredness you can work on, but things like teething and motor leaps, there's not really that much you can do. You can just leave them and not interact with them and be engaging at that time of day. So those are the five reasons for early morning wake-ups. Know that everyone will go through these at some time. Key times tend to be when a lot of teeth come in around 10 and 11 months. That can tends to happen. I often notice it when kids start to drop naps, but maybe their parents don't adjust their bedtime to be earlier because they drop the nap. Sometimes they start waking up earlier in the morning, but there can be a variety of reasons. But these five are kind of the main ones that we see over and over again. If you like that, or if you're thinking about independent sleep and want some more tips, come check out our Helping Baby Sleep School. We help parents with kids from four weeks of age all the way up to four years, help their little ones understand what um, sleep boundaries, sleep behaviors, and really help parents understand what their sleep and feeding needs are to help set them up for success, and then work on how they're responding to help their little one develop the number one thing that they need to sleep through the night, which is self-soothing skills. HelpingBabySleepSchool.com, we'll put the link in below. See you next time.